So, hello everyone, I am back again today to do a new project and that will be a canvas painting with acrylic. The painting that I am going to do is super easy, very very easy, you can try very easily. So, I am going to do a flamenco painting, if you focus on the details that I am doing, it's as usual, normal ones, you can use a A4 sheet or canvas paper, not only a canvas. So, what I will be using is a canvas paper. And I put a masking tape uh, in the edge, so the edges should be nice for me, that's why. So as usual, I always do that. So the first step I need is white color and light, uh, little bit blue color, not too much, but I will be using white and blue color only. So you can do is divide your canvas exactly in the middle, like a halfway, and you can use a little bit blue color if you want onto that one. Use just a normal brush exactly in the middle you will just make a line not too thick line just a small line you will be ma making it in the middle so that you will not cross this line and come below that's why so we will start with white color and I want you to make a circle in the corner of your canvas we are doing the sky so I just want to do the sun little bit with white color your hand should go like a circle way okay so once your uh, circle is done your circle should be look like this way it's not showing too much if you focus on to this part this is the place i made the circle if you see so i didn't do lot of paint onto that so you can see it i will make a small i will take little bit blue and mark little bit away from the white color circle not exactly near the white color circle stop so i stopped the white color here but i made the line here so I gave a small space. So what I will be doing is now I will use little bit blue color and go around it. Remember your hand should go like a circle. That's very important. So now you can do is you can use again little bit white color and blend the white and blue the area that you keep kept space like this way again your hand should be go like a circle remember that don't go too much onto the white color part just stay in the line that's enough Now you have to do is use the same brush because your brush is already have a little bit blue color it's fine so if you feel like the uh, paint is drying of course you can wet the brush a little bit now you have to color the full part with blue and white together so if you have blue color just rub around and keep brushing with white color just adding little bit blue, not too much because we are mixing blue and white together and using not total white or not total blue. So your hand should go like a circle if you see. So if you remember the line that we made, I'm not going below that line, I'm going to stay or not going without going to down, we I'm going to stay in the line. I will not cross that line because it's supposed to be in different color.
So my brush is kind of getting uh, quickly dry. The reason is I'm using a canvas paper. This canvas paper is quick drying. So I'm keep brushing like this way. So if you see, it's like circle. We start with blue, white color, and we just playing around with blue and white color. Okay, our sky is done now, if you see, it's very easy, you just play around with blue and white color, it's very nice, I like these colors. So the bottom part we are going to do is the sea. In case if you don't have the aqua color, you can do is mix little bit green and blue together and use, it's very nice together. So I will use the same brush because I have to have a little bit blue color. First I will make a one straight line. just make a straight line as I said if you don't have aqua color you can mix green and blue together and I will keep little bit space in the below like to do the sand that part so other part I will be using for uh, ocean so the way I will be using again I will color the up part little bit darker and I will start to use white color and blend it The bottom part you have to use little bit white color and make give you like a wavy fit. So you can keep blending if you see. Use the same brush. If you feel like too much paint on your brush, you can keep wiping it with a small tissue or something and the bottom part I will do like a wave I don't want it to be straight So if you see, it's getting darker here, but much more lighter to the bottom. So use straight brush strokes. Don't do like random wires. So the now other part we will be doing is brown color. That is so nice. We will be do using little bit normal brown color and down here I will use little bit dark as usual. The last part but when you come to up I am going to use little bit white color and make it much more lighter. And the edge I will fix like a wave as I said to you. Okay, so now the background is almost done. If you see, we start with the sky and we did the ocean and the sand. I hope you guys like the background. It's very easy. It's very simple. You have to. And I will leave it for like to dry for a few minutes. I already have a the canvas ready. So now you have to do is you have to draw your uh, flamingo. You can. Uh, 
uh, trace it if you don't know to draw it or you can try your own drawing you can do it and just leave the flamingo and do I just did the flamingo you can see legs will be starting from the sand towards up and the body will be like half of the neck and half of the body will come to the sky this is the way you will be drawing the flamingo I colored it with white color because my background is much more darker because I will add pink color onto that that's why so I will use pink color and this is the time you have to use the pointed brush not any other brush and I have pink color so I will start to paint the flamingo with pink color you guys it's better use first white color and do the body and over that you can do the pink color because uh, if your background is darker if you directly apply the pink it will be not show it's better you do the white color leave it to dry and then do the pink color of it So you will color the full flamingo in pink color. Make sure you use a pointed brush, it will be much more easy for you. So now if you see the pink color body is done but we will be doing is now I want you to use little bit red color and the below here the bottom part just highlight it with little bit red color use the pointed brush only but not too much just that to give a nice shade. and from the up also so half it should be like brush strokes going downwards if you see you will just play around with the red and pink color once you're done with the pink red color you just use white color and highlight it like feathers small brush strokes going downwards if you see it's very easy not so hard that's why the reason I asked you to use a pointed brush it's much more it will make you easy to do the uh, feathers And for the next area also you just need a little bit highlight with white color if you like you can add little bit red color also it's total fine but not too much so when you come to the mouth I hope I don't have any messages no <laughs> so I was just doing this one I didn't focus on the comments or messages that you need to ask on me anyhow this now we will do the mouth so the you have to use little bit black color but before that you have to add half for the pink color and then you can apply little bit black color like this way then you will use this much more smaller brush very very smaller one i keep two brushes in here so Yeah. 
black color and you have to make the eye black color small dot will be fine total you can use little bit white color and highlight little bit top of the mouth it's much more easy not totally pink color we are going to leave that's why like this way so your mouth should be should look like this way and the last part you need to do the legs of course with the black color again use the smallest brush make sure it's very easy for you to use a pointed brush instead of any other flat brushes That's why I ask you to draw the outline. It will be much more easy if you draw the outline first before you do the painting. So now you have to do is take a little bit brown color, little bit, highlight below the leg, little bit to show darker brown, not too much like highlighting wise. So you can always use a small brush. And this is the time you can play around with the paint. Now, if you like, you can do is, you can make some leaves, very nice. Green color leaves you can use. I keep washing the brushes I'm using. So, you can just decorate with nice leaves. Like that. So you just play around the way you like. So I hope you guys enjoy today's lesson and I we will start with a new project tomorrow. This is the lesson that we did today. It's very easy. Once your work is done, you can just remove the masking tape of the edges. So your edges should be much more nicer. Like this way. So what we did is we use masking tape and use a canvas paper. Or you can use, of course, uh, A4 sheets and original canvas also. And we color the sky, we color the uh, sea and then the sand, then we trace the uh, flamingo and we start the color of the flamingo. I hope you guys enjoy today's lesson. It's very easy, simple. I, I stick with very, very easy way. I don't want you to be hard, that's why. So we will start tomorrow again. New project. Thank you for watching me. See you tomorrow.